Welcome ladies and gentlemen out there to this new episode of Germany How It Is. Today we're talking about German modern literature. So quite a heavy topic. I get this, uh, this question about German modern authors, modern literature and so on. Took me some time, some research, what, what authors do I know, what books did I read and so on. So first of all, yes, there are plenty of modern authors and you get you can find it. I will put a list of the names in the description. It makes it most easily more more easy for you because I don't know all of them and I didn't read from all of them a book because um, when I read a book uh, I read the book not because the author is German. I read the book because I think it's an interesting book obviously. Oh, but first of all what do I have here? Start with this one. I have some some classic ones. They're not quite um, modern, but this is found what I, I have at home. It's first of all it's Friedrich Schiller, Wilhelm Thiel. Uh, Schiller is uh, a really great and intellectual person. Um, had a deep impact on the German society. And Wilhelm Thiel, what this is all about? It is place in in Switzerland, and it's about a man, a hunter and he, yeah, he fights for freedom and honor against his bad lord in the area in the former times, yeah. It's, it's a great tale. And the next thing we have, there's uh, three different versions of Faust. Faust means fist. And um, yeah, I think it's the greatest masterpiece of, of German society or the biggest impact. It's from Goethe, Johann Wolfgang Goethe. And yeah, he, he's the mastermind of German literature and intellectual stuff and, and so on and novels and poems and whatever. So, and Faust, what is Faust about? Faust is about the life itself. It's about an um, a doctor, a professor, a very intellectual person that struggles with life and does a pact with the devil to experience the real life, the meaning of life, to get a deeper, a deeper meaning of life. And it's, it's really good and really interesting, mind-blowing, I would say. And if you ever have some quotes in Germany, they're mostly from Goethe and also mostly from Faust, his masterpiece. So, what else do I have? It's Nietzsche. Also sprach Zarathustra. It's, uh, der Mensch ist etwas, das überwunden werden muss. It's also mind-blowing. It's about the Superman, the Übermensch. Uh, the superior, the next step in the evolution in some way and it also leads to some bad things because the book is so mind-blowing and you can interpret it in, in different ways so but yeah give it a chance it's really it open your minds it blow your head away in some way and then what get I here it's yeah, it's a, a mix of different authors about um, 500 years of German history. There are stories and poems and whatever. This is started in the, in the first, let's say there are the numbers in 1520 and go till the 2000 years and you have all all people that ever written all German people that ever written something about Germany and the German people it's in this book it's called Deutschland Deutschland also it's, it's a good one but that are quite um, old ones and what I now get here are the modern ones. I get first of all Frank Schätzing and I read the novel The Schwarm and it's about nature striking back 
or the, the nature from the oceans, the oceans, the deep sea ocean uh, striking back and yeah, because mankind did such a lot of bad things to the environment. It's always a very thick book, sometimes it's a little bit too long, but it's very interesting. And the next one is Andreas Esch, Eschbach. It's eine billion dollar. It's translated to one trillion dollar. But um, as far as I know, it you can. The title also in the English is eine billion dollar. It's about a guy that gets a trillion dollar, and it's about the financial system, the money system. But it's a novel, and it's very interesting. What do you can do? and how you can change the system when you have one trillion dollar cash. It's, uh, it's also a very thick and long book but uh, some people say it's a little bit too long and, and whatever but I think it's very interesting. And the third one I know of modern authors is Wolfgang Holbein. And he does a lot of fantasy stuff and horror novels and so on. It's not he, he has plenty of books. It's a very long list to name them all. So I read some stories of of him too, and it's interesting. And the other authors I don't know. I never read from the other authors. I heard of some of them, but as I mentioned at the first, uh, I put the names all in this description that you can can look for them, search for themselves. If you're interested in them and find some English translation and whatever. So there are plenty of authors, all kind of stuff. And you also find a lot of German authors about non-fictional books. But this is, I think it's not very interesting for you in any way. Um, it's, it's about politics and religion and society and so on. I sure have also some books about them too. But yeah, I don't know if there are an English translation is available. What I also had read a lot is um, after war literature. It's mostly war stories or the time after war from former German soldiers and they were in the war in the Second World War and also in, in, Rus in Russian or Soviet Union prison camps and, and had their time. And there are plenty of books, but they are still related, um, mostly released in the 50s and 60s and 70s. And I, I have read um, a lot of them. They're interesting in a way, but on the other way, they have always the same kind of scheme and, and going on and so on. So, but it's not very interesting for you, I guess. Um, I have there one book here yeah, is on the road of, of victory from Will Berthold and I have other authors too and say yes yeah, so writing the stories about the war and the second world war and, and German soldiers I'm interested in this topic in some way but if you know some of them say hey they, they go all the same way, all the same line, in a, yeah. So that's all from my point about uh, German literature, guys. So uh, maybe interesting for you some ideas if you like this topic. So thanks again for watching. Till the next time. Bye.